M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Uniden SDS100 Europe version now has the firmware for the waterfall. Now I know this works because I've got a photograph of it working, as you can see here. So now we're going to try to do it. So this is the, the version apparently, 1.23.07, released, well today's the 23rd and it was released on the 23rd. So. Let's try it. it. It doesn't mention the waterfall. It just says fixed an issue, blah, blah, blah. So I'm hoping this is the right one for Europe. We'll try it. I'm gonna click that there. You know, when I click that, nothing actually happens. So we're gonna go, we've got the software here. Let's uh, put our radio into sort of firmware accept mode by just unplugging the USB, putting it in, and then we're gonna press when it says enter. You've just done. I'll hide the photograph that we're looking at at the moment. So that's it in USB mode. You literally just plug the cable in the side. Then I'm going to click update here, firmware. This is what we're seeing at the moment. Click OK. And it's checking the server. Now it's downloading it, which is a plus because last time when I just tried to download it wouldn't do it so it is writing firmware to the scanner that's good news now even if we haven't paid for the firmware update we should be able to just at least see it in the new menu um, so it says complete let's click that what does it say here finish writing update your PC's unmount function to unmount the scanner before continuing press and hold the power key to start to update do not unplug the USB cable so says here, press and hold power key to start the update. Okay, power key is bottom right. Down here at the bottom, let's move this down so we can see what we're up to. And then we'll do it. So, I'm gonna hold down the power key. Ooh, firmware. Um, now none of this would happen a few weeks ago. So I'm not gonna mess with anything while this is going on. So you get how I did it. I'll, I'll give you the link for UBCD 3600XLT firmware update. And it's rebooting. And then it's reloading. So what we're going to do is go in and see if we've got any new menus. And then I'll do the SDS 200. So it's booted, booted back up. Right, I know we've been successful because I checked, but we're going to show you in the video. Go to menu, push the side button. Just here, and then we turn one click back and then push the volume down. And then we'll go to scanner information, firmware version, push down, and there it is, 1.23.07, which is the correct one. Now, when we go back, look at this. Now, we still have to pay for the firmware and upgrade it, but if we go turn the same going up to the top there and push upgrade, ta-da, we have the waterfall upgrade. If we go to that, and then that's where you input your waterfall key. So we haven't got that yet. Let's just see if we can at least select the waterfall uh, and then I'll go off and work out how we're gonna you know, pay for and get the key. And we'll be doing this on the SDS 200 as well. But anyway, push down on the menu again. Remember, this is the Europe model. Turn it back three clicks, push down and hey presto. That's our waterfall. Now, of course, it's not working yet. Because nothing's, you know, we haven't paid for it. <laughs> but you can see it works. And we just got to pay for the key and get the key. Come on. Thank That's, I'm telling you now, it's easily worth the money. I've seen this, especially on the SDS 200. It transforms the device. You can see the band conditions. Bye for now, 7.3.